25-year-old Katie Myers is the victim of a violent crime. The woman was found at 9 o'clock p.m. on February 8, 2003 in her basement laboratory. Myers was a federal agent undercover on a mission to expose a drug dealer in the area. She was undercover with the alias of Kelly Wilson. Before her death, Katie Myers was dating two men, one in her personal life and the other undercover. She was involved in her undercover relationship with a man by the name of Jack Romano, who was also a prime suspect in the drug investigation. He recently discovered she was a federal agent and immediately put a stop to her investigation. Enraged that evening around 8.15 p.m., he entered the house through the front door. He quietly searched the upstairs and did not find her anywhere. In the last hope, Romano opened the basement door and tiptoed down the steps. He saw who he knew as Kelly Wilson sitting in a chair working diligently on scientific research of some sort. Romano didn't want to have any interaction with Wilson. Due to this, he saw a dumbbell lying on the ground off to the side and made this his weapon of choice. The man took the weight and with one hard, swift blow to the right side of her head, Kelly Wilson collapsed and fell to the floor, knocking the chair over on her way down. This blow caused blood to splatter against the window and the table. The woman's safety goggles also had a significant amount of blood present on the front portion. On impact, when the body hit the ground, they fell off to the left side of her. Lying on the table was a notebook. In the notebook, Romano left a threatening note indirectly written to the FBI asking for a meeting tomorrow at 2.30. If no one showed up, another accident would occur. When Jack Romano left the crime scene, he went around the top of the body, accidentally stepping in the pool of blood. This led to the creation of more footprints at the scene. Romano left the scene and disappeared, leaving behind evidence that made it clear he was responsible for the murder of federal agent Katie Myers.